Obiazo, you have been chosen as the next king of an Enugu kingdom. We all believe that you will take the full steps of the previous king or will be better than him. Thank you very much, Obuefi. Thank you. Thank you, my elders. Thank you very much for the vote of confidence. Thank you also for this rare opportunity to be a king of our beautiful community at a time like this. Thank you. As I sit here, I make you all this promise right in the presence of the chief priest of Anil that I, Obiozo, will rule this kingdom very well. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Thank I you. give this to everyone. Yeah. And I shall not disappoint you all. And I'll do all within my power to ensure that everyone is happy and comfortable. First thing first, Obiozo, you have to choose a wife before your coronation. Mm. Uh, no, way. I'm very much aware of that. And I assure you all again, my elders, that I will do the needful eh, in due time. <laughs> very good. <laughs> 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 Have you heard the latest concerning the next king of our land? I haven't. What is it? Obiozo has been chosen to be the next king. Obiozo? Yes. Are you serious? <sighs> He's from the family of the kingmakers. And the chief priest, wow. maybe, after consultations with the gods and ancestors, possibly settled for him. Obiozo is not married, so how is he going to be the king? He has been asked to choose a wife before his coronation. Wow. That's good news. How do you mean? Just take a good look at me. Don't I look beautiful enough for Obiozo? Bongewa. I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't even go there. What is that supposed to mean? Obiozo is mine. So you better get that useless thought off your mind. What is even the meaning of all this nonsense? Is it because I told you? Why are you flaying off for nothing? We're only having a normal conversation here. And here you're insulting me. <laughs> She's over. I don't have your time. Excuse me. Can you imagine this girl? You can go and kill yourself for all I care. Obiozo is mine and you will keep being mine. Rubbish. I am very happy for you, my friend. <laughs> hey! So, you mean soon I will not just be the friend of Obiozo, but the friend of Obiozo, the king of Anenu. <laughs> hey! This is great. Let's continue to thank the gods in your I will only <laughs> be respected across the length and breadth of Anenu because I will partake in your glory. Ah! <laughs> glory! <laughs> glory. <laughs> it is fine, Onyebuchi. You stop making this thing look larger than it is. Eh? It is large! Is it? Larger than anything you can think of. <laughs> Is that so? Hi! <laughs> Greetings, my king. Greetings, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Mm. Is there a problem? No, no, not at all. Um, I have to get going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
This is indeed a new phase in your life. I told you. <laughs> Our lives. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, but see, that is what I've been encountering since I was named the next king. This one happened before me. I saw it. Hey. <laughs> How I wish I was the one chosen. Ah. I will have set this kingdom on fire. I swear. Oh yeah, but what would you have done differently? Imagine, imagine. Ah. Even men. <laughs> I will have tested all of them. Oh, yeah, Buchi, you would have gotten tired. Have you not heard that an average woman is stronger than two men in that regard? I am capable. You are capable? No. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That is why the gods will never choose a man like you to become king. Don't insult me. I'm not insulting you. Mm -hmm. Don't insult me because we, we've been in this together. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Keep walking out behind you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Elders in council will not always agree with me. For it is believed I am always too blunt. But you will agree with me this time around. But what happened is absolute nonsense. Hmm. Uh, hmm? Really? Nonsense? Oh, what is What's your grouse? What is your grouse? Why are you always eating yourself up? What exactly is your anger? Is that supposed to be a question or no? It's a question. Why are you boiling and calling what we are doing nonsense? What's, what is that? Is anger? I can be disappointed in you. In fact, I am disappointed in all of you. Ah. Oh, brother, son. What exactly is your problem? Everything is the problem. Why must Obiozo be the chosen one? Why? I don't get it. Do you have any problem with the man? Yes, you're asking. Yes, yes. Tell us. Is there anything we need to know? I don't even know why I'm sitting down here having this discussion with you. Look at this. Don't mind the rabo rouser. What is wrong with this man? Don't mind the rabo rouser. He always likes standing alone. Eh? He is always creating unnecessary tension, seeking notice. Ndi please let us concentrate and discuss more important things. Which means you've not even cooked. What have you been doing? Oye Biko, it is still very early. I am not your wife. Do not disturb me. Oh, Miss Oma, this is not fair. This is not fair. I told you I was hungry before I left. Miss Oma, this is not fair. This is not fair. Yes, that is all Miss Oma is good for. Miss Oma, have you finished cooking? Miss Oma, you are not done cooking. Miss Oma, you are still feeling Ebusi. Miss Oma, you are still doing this. Miss Oma, I'll get you one. What is it? Biko Oye Buchi. If your stomach has grown bigger than it used to be, go and get a wife. After all, your mates are with their wives in their houses and their children. Are your mates not in their husband's houses? Eh? Hey, that reminds me. Hey, what's up? Yeah, 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 what's up? what's up? Yeah, what's up? what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I see. It's because he's been named the next king. Okay? I see you're one of those girls. <laughs> you see, you see, Uchiri. Uchiri. Because you have concluded in your mind that all the mess Oma is good for is making you meals. You think I do not have the right to like good things, Okwaya? Who Oma, does not like Mess Oma, listen to me. I am not in the mood for this useless question of yours. You know I'm hungry. I go now, I go, and I'm very angry at the moment. <laughs> You have been named the next king. And according to them, that can only happen when you are married. 
Why is it taking you so long to pick a wife? <laughs> Already. <laughs> well, this announcement was just made a few days ago. So? How is that even possible? <laughs> and so? Wasting time will make them think you are a man who cannot take decisions urgently. Mom, the decision that we're talking about here is one that involves the woman that I will spend the rest of my life with. The next queen. I know. Of course, I may say, I mean, I have to be careful. It requires some kind of search, Mom, and I'm on it. <laughs> Mom. I am your mother. And I believe that you know that I know you inside out. If you're finding it very difficult to select a wife, I can select one for you today if you permit me. <laughs> it hasn't come to that yet. Oh. Come on. Look, I'm on it. Okay, I'm searching. I'm, I'm searching. Just to have some faith. Give me some time, Mom. I would find someone who I really like and I'd let you know. Uh, even though I have noticed that the ladies in this community have started clustering around me since I was named king. <laughs> But I also assure you, I'm not picking anyone from that bunch because that's not what I want. Okay? Relax. I'll find someone. Hmm? My king. Greetings, my king. Uh -huh. Greetings. Greetings, my king. Greetings. I made you a special file. Oh, okay. Uh, what is your name again? Adoma. Adoma. Thank you for the food. Eh? Dan, you, you can keep it. I should do. Yes, please. Nene, mm. mm. is there anything you would want me to do for you? Anything like what? Anything at all. Just name it. Well, there's nothing. Thank you. Are you sure? Mama, are you sure there is nothing in the house? I am sure. I am sure. Clean, wash, yeah, mm -mm. everything. I mean, she's willing to help. I am sure there is nothing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, my king. Yes. I'll be on my way now. It is fine. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Mm. All right. See you later. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was a now that we open on because I was just talking about how they cluster around me and then she shows up. Mom, this is what I've been dealing with uh, <laughs> since I was named king. But yeah, I said, Bob, you know, but I'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I hope you are not planning on eating that food. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with the food? The food looks good, Mom. Looks good. I can you say that, but I don't like you. I love that. That's it, Mom. Nothing would happen to me. Okay? I am a man from this community, and nothing I put in my hands and put straight in my mouth will harm me. I will not die, Mama. I am a man of an Enugu, a crown king to be. This is a gift, though, from my female sister. So relax here. <laughs> the throne and the prince in our land Two elders and smiling again The birds and no singing again Oh, Chimo, Chimo The trees and the wind and the thunder The sign in the sky is so dark The rain is Hey, Miss Oma. How are you, your man? I'm very well. How are you? I'm well too. Um, I see that uh, my friend is not at home. Yes, he's not. He left some minutes ago. I even thought he was coming to your place. Oh, not at all. He didn't come to mine. Um, 
Why don't you sit a while and wait for him? What if he doesn't come back? No, oh, I'm sure he will. You're sure? My instincts. What makes it? Your instincts. <laughs> okay. I'll wait. Your Majesty. You keep referring to me as Your Majesty. I have not been crowned king yet, Miss Oma. Well, soon you will be crowned king. Well, then let's wait until I am crowned king. Then you can address me as Your Majesty. Huh? Oh. What? Right here, my beard. What? I, I can't describe what it is. Let me. Let me. It, is it off? Uh, yes, I, I just did. My very handsome king. You know, perfect choice made by men in council, and we are very sure that Anenubi is going to be great again. Uh, Miss Oma, I'll take my leave. Let your brother know that I was here and let him see me as soon as he returns, okay? My vibrant king. Greetings, Greetings, Your Majesty. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, your name again? Uncoli, Your Majesty. Uncoli, how are you? I am fine, Your Majesty. Ah, you're all smiles. You come across as um, cheerful. Thank you, Your Majesty. Welcome. Where are you headed? I'm heading to see a friend. Very well then. Uh, can we please um, work together? Hence, we are heading towards the same direction. We all know what Flower represents in the heart of the just. He is a just man, and that was why he was elected to be the king of Aninu. I present this to you with love. Wow. <laughs> Chizoba. Yes, ma'am. All this because my son has been named the next king of an Enugu kingdom, right? Not really, ma. What do you mean by not really? Let me ask you. Do you think it is proper for a girl to be spending so much money buying gifts for a man just the way you're doing now? Not really, ma. What do you mean by not really? Why are you wasting your money going after my son the way you're doing now? Answer me! I'm only showing care, ma. Oh. Care indeed. Well, there's no problem. Give me. Thank you. Thank you very much for your gift, the flower, and thank you for your care. I'm happy you like it, Nimi. Mm, thank you very much. You may now leave. Thank you. And the priest in all land. Two elders and smiling. Okay. The bits and no singing. Okay. Oh, Chimo. Chimo. The trees and the wind and the. Adoma, why are you standing here like a ghost? And what are you doing here? I should be asking you that question, Chizoba. What are you doing here? How? Oh. You think I didn't see you when you moved into my husband's compound with your worthless gift? <laughs> There's nothing I will not hear in Anenugu kingdom. She's your husband's her. compound. I thought you were my friend, but I never knew you were a backstabber. Oh, please hold it there. Point of correction. Obiozo is going to be my husband. The earlier you know that, the better for you. 
come back here. You is going to be your husband. Chizoba, you are a dreamer. Unlucky now. But I bet you that will never happen. You know what? Let's get lost. Toto lo Hi. Are you going to allow this nonsense to continue? Ubioso, name the girl you have chosen. You know, time is no longer on your side. And you know what that means. No, I'm doing my best. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying, mom. I, I mean, look at it this way. But the woman in question should be someone special, mom. You know, someone really, really unique. You just can't be anybody in an Enugu. No. I'm trying. I'm searching. Huh? There he is. Ah. It's here. Okay. Just hold your greetings, Ozioma. Please. Is there any problem? Yes, there is. Why is your son still single? Or does it mean he is not aware of the responsibility that awaits him? Um, it's your Okwana, Sanya, please. Hey, Watch the please way don't even call my name for you are not qualified to ever call that name. I still look at you. I don't know why they settled for you as the next king. Yeah, well, it's possible they are blind. Or maybe they are suffering from the illusion of looking at black and calling it white and looking at white and calling it black. It's your fire, Sanya. Enough. Alright, enough. I will not have you insult me in my compound. And need I remind you that I have been called king. Bring to your tongue. Watch the way you speak to me. Really? Yes. And then you stood as if there is something you are going to do. What can you do? They settled for you as the next king. Listen to me. It is going to happen only on one condition. And that is that you urgently make a woman your wife. If you fail to do this, I am going to reconstruct the entire process in a way. That some other person will emerge the next king. You are not going to claim you don't know what I'm capable of doing. My son, please. Just ignore him. He's a troublemaker. Ignore him. Who does this man think he is, Ma? He is just a troublemaker. The troublemaker of an Enugu kingdom. Obiozo was here. Oh. I forgot you told me he will be coming. Any message from him? Not really. Oh. But I have a question. What question? Never mind. I shouldn't mind. So why then did you say you have a question? Of course. I had a question. But now I said you shouldn't mind. Oh, do you want to force it out of my mouth? <laughs> There's nothing I will not see. Ah. Okay. I have a question for you. Which is? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how I ended up having a difficult sister like you? Hey, oh, oh, and um, <laughs> it's so unfortunate how much time it took you to discover this. But we are here now. You cannot change it, my brother. Such a nightmare. I can't believe this. What have 
phone. <laughs> Why did you tell him that made him agree to have a work with you? I told him nothing. Eh? Mm -hmm. I am sure he finally realized I am a babe of outstanding class. Yes. You see, we discussed a lot of things and he gave me detailed attention. Hmm. This is excellent news over here. Extremely wonderful. Hmm? You see, something tells me that I am the one for him. You see, would you? I am that babe mm -hmm. that he will finally marry. And I can't wait for that to happen. It, it will be it will be a team of joy, huh? for I will automatically become a friend to the queen. Exactly. You know what to do, Uju? Tell me what you know. I pray. Mm -hmm. Pray that this becomes a success. Mm. I will start it today. What am I waiting for? In fact, this moment. Ah, ah. <laughs> Boss of our land. Boss of my ancestors. That my friends had desire. He said, let Obiosa choose her as He said, let her become the queen of her name. He said, so that I will become a friend to the queen. He said... Look, I understand, okay? Listen, I understand I'm not supposed to be this upset at this point in my history, but you see that man? You see that man? That man? That man is getting on my nerves. Obiozo, don't get yourself worked up. Huh. Who doesn't know Ichiokwe and Asanya? He's notorious for his troubles. But, if I'm to tell you the truth, a truth devoid of sentiments, I think he's right. Second. You heard me. What, what do you mean he's right? How is he right? You know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. You need to choose a wife. <laughs> Your coronation is fast approaching. And you know you don't have time. Oh, because I am pressed for time, Udebuchi. I should settle for the next woman that I find in Anilu. There you go again. Oh, what, 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 what there are you, you go about? again. Has anyone taking time to think about me? Is everything about the throne? Is everything about this community? How about me? Okay, I have feelings. Please, let me talk. You know, whenever this issue comes up, you tend to defend yourself by saying that you haven't found your kind of woman. Let me quickly ask you, what is your kind of woman? If you all are patient and stop pressuring me from all corners, I'll find a good woman. Right, listen, I might not be able to vividly right now, you know, describe her to you, but I tell you this, the moment I see her, I am now about fear. I would know. Something in my heart would shift. I would feel it. Obioza. I am convinced within the inner recesses of my mind that you can find that kind of woman. Oh, I can find her. Have some faith, Onyebuchi. Have some faith in me. Give me some time, all of you. Stop pressuring me. I will find her. Okay. Let me get dressed. We're almost late. It's fine. Hi, Miss Oma. Mm -hmm. How are you? I am well. But I have missed you. You what? Yes. <laughs> really? Oh, girls, eh? Oh, well, we're set. Okay, good. Uh, Miss Oma, do take care of yourself. Uh -huh. Take care of the house. I'm coming. If I will know be if I will know be if the eyes can see if the ears can hear if I will know be if I will know be we've been friends for a very long time now <laughs> and I really want that friendship to keep moving <sighs> If only your son will marry my daughter, Onyeji. Wait a minute, Azoka. I don't get it. You mean our friendship will cease to exist if my son does not marry your daughter? That's not what I mean. But the summary is that I want your son to marry my daughter, Onyeji. And I know that you can do that for me. <laughs> Azoka, it is not as easy as that, too. How do you mean? 
Oninyechi. Mama. Are you close to my son? Not really. We only breed. You see? That is it. So what is your point now? <sighs> my point is that my son has not actually found who to marry. Hmm? And he is not someone you can choose a wife for. I don't understand you, my good friend. Please make me to understand. What I am saying is that I cannot force anyone on my son. If Oninichi is meant for him, he will surely come for her. This is very confusing to me. The one I called my friend does not trust me. Hmm. Yeah. Mama, all I know is Obiozo must marry me. He must marry me. I, I must be the queen. Do you think we still stand a chance? After what the mother said. Mama, I don't know. I will do everything possible to get the man of my dreams. I can't lose this opportunity. What can you do to have this man of your dream? What do you call her, if not her husband's nature? <laughs> is that supposed to be funny? Of course, it is very funny. Hey, look at you. You're already referring to him as your husband. Of course. Huh. Obiazo belongs to me. Everybody knows that. Are you serious? And... When did they become your husband? All I need you to do is for you to tell Chizoba to stay away from my man. He, your wife is. he is my man. And my husband. You are a fool to even say that. Look at you lusting over another woman's husband. And you're not even ashamed of yourself. Really? I never knew you were this dumb and stupid. Eh? 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 eh. Is that supposed to be an insult? This is an insult. Now you. Are you stupid? Stop you right now. Look at this fool. Stop Look at this fool. What did you just say? What kind of useless question is that? Does he look like a woman to you? I'm not talking about physical appearances. I mean, is it truly... A, a, is he man enough? What sort of useless question is this? Do not call it useless. I have my reason for asking. Ah, boy, a useless question. Why? What reason? Forget it. What were you discussing with him before I came out? Ah, did you, did you answer? The one I asked you, you did not answer. What do you want me to say? I don't even know what you want me to say. Miss Woman, are you aware that I am your elder brother and that you don't talk to me anyhow? Oh, no. Sorry, you. Ndo, elder brother, Ndo, sorry. I don't know what is going on in your mind. But it might interest you to know that Tobioso has found a wife. How? From where? Who? Who, who, is, the, who is the person? I don't know. But all I know is that that woman is not you. I always feel special whenever I'm with you. Obim, you are special with or without me, and you know it. I am still that humble Atwini who is in love with you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I disagree with you. You are not just Atwini. You are a chemist, a healer with the gift of the guts. At your age, you are already the greatest healer in the whole Anenugu. And no more Balanri Empire. Any woman that is privileged to have you as hers will be very proud. Why would you say a thing like that? You're making me feel bigger than normal. I take that as flattery, though. I am not the only one with the gift of the gods when it comes to healing. You win. But to me, you are the greatest. <laughs> I thank you for coming into my life. Without you in my life, I'm just nothing. Uh, I'm just worthless. Uh, uh. Now you're the one flattering me. <laughs> no, I am not flattering you. You're the special one 
and I'm going to love you for the rest of my life. Thank you, Bim. I can't just wait to pay your bride price and make you my wife. Oh, Bim, the ball is in your court. I'm, I'm ready, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the good news because I'm sure there is one. Oh, sit down. <laughs> I'm listening. Mom, I have found her. You have found who? My wife. Hey! If I did my, if I did my, if I did my, look at my. If I did my come now, chop. If I did my look at my car. Hey, hey, that is great news. Thank you. I've been waiting for this news since. Thank you. Remember when we talked about it, I told you to relax. That when I find her, I will know. You said so. But at the moment I saw her, I knew. Okay. You know, the interesting thing is I have just seen her for the first time. Oh. I was with my friend, Onyebuchi, mm. you know, who told me that he knows her. Mm -hmm. That her name is Okukwe, the daughter of Nzobi Efra. Daughter of Nzobi Efra. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. You know her? Yes, I know her. What? <laughs> Is she not the one um, at Weni, the owner of the booming chemist shop, wants to marry? Well, that is the same thing Onyebuchi said, but I told him that um, the young man is yet to pay her bride price, so that doesn't make her his wife, that um, it can be taken care of. But uh, 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 You wanted me to find a wife. I have found one. Huh? Let me handle the complexities that come with it. I want to marry her. I like her mom. Support me. Be happy for me. Oh, eh? <laughs> you said you saw her yesterday. Yes, Chief. Did you in any way interact with her? Oh, no, I did not. I thought it wise if you to come have a conversation with you first. Mm. Uh, Nani, what do you think? What I think? Yes. Well, Okubo is not at home at the moment. She would have been the one to speak for herself. Yeah. Um, Your Majesty, I will personally talk to her when she comes back. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. I shall um, take my leave now. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Thank you. Why did you ask me such question in his presence? Was there anything wrong with that? Ugoma, are you sure you are still okay? Hey. Have you forgotten that our daughter is to be married to Atuhi? Yeah. It was nearly Atumbada. So, you want to sit here and compare the two? The king to be of this great kingdom to a 20. So, because the coming king has developed interest in our daughter, our 20 should be discarded as nothing. <laughs> Is that what you are actually saying? And I've not said anything like that. Mm. But I know. Nada afweba nechiyoso. There's no way you compare the two. Nani. The king to be all. All you forgotten. That very soon will be the parents of the queen. <laughs> hey. Maybe we can continue with my cooking. Hmm? I will serve you your food very soon. Nepwin. The throne and the prince in our land. Two elders and smiling again. The beds and no singing again. Oh, Chimo. Chimo.
rainbow The trees and the wind and the thunder The sign in the sky is so dark I'm calling How are you? I'm fine Well, are you stalking me now? I'm calling Not at all my thing No So, where are you coming from? Somewhere Somewhere that doesn't have a name Maybe. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. I just want to walk with you. You want to walk with me? Thank you very much for everything. Okay, I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Of course. You can see me whenever you wish. Ah, <laughs> thank you. That's my love. Okay. Um, my regards to your parents. They were here. Hmm? I can't stop admiring you. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go now. Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll see you in your shop. Sure. Don't turn back. Just go. as a young man. I would say you are lucky. My brother, I am not going to allow anybody look down on what I am doing. Hmm? Medicine is beyond what you study in school or what you are practicing in the hospital. What exactly are you saying? That you believe medical science is inferior to you? None is inferior to each other. That is my argument. Yes, a lot of people went to the hospital, they couldn't get healed. But when they come down here, I give them my house, they get healed. Just like the Bishop of Anglican Communion got healed of his arthritis. That was after he must have gone to medical treatment and couldn't get healed. So there is nothing you will tell him now that he will listen to you. So this is possibly why Okoku is settled for you and not any other man in this community? Has this shifted from what we are talking to, to my fiancé? Uh, not exactly. But sincerely, I envy you a lot. Everything worked perfectly well for you. And let's say that the gods have made it possible. Who gods bless, no one can curse. This brings me to another question that disturbs me. At this age and time, why 
Why do you still make reference to the gods? Is it that you don't believe in God Almighty? Says who? I believe in God Almighty. He's the creator of heaven and earth. He owns everything. Yes. But in our Igbo land, we have the gods. Yes. And we cannot do without them. Because they know us in and outside. The gods have made it possible for me to achieve what I've achieved in years. I don't even know how to do them. I, I don't believe that. If that is not my business of what you believe or not. You only have to do is to face what you learn. You, you learned in the, in the medical school and leave what you don't know. What I practice here is a combination of what I know and what you do. So face the one you know and leave with my own. Face your own. Uh, my elder. The young man is still in search of a woman to marry. Okay. Or would you rather have him finally settled for the wrong one? And how long is that supposed to take? No wins away. For a man to pick a woman and make her his wife, how long does it take? To me, I don't think there's need for a rush. We do respect the Shiona. Judging from what you just said now, it simply means you are not as intelligent as I used to think. What? You choke on Asanya? Is that an insult? No, no, you, you may call it whatever you want. But I just told you the truth. It's your one sign. I don't see a reason for you to insult any of us. Chief, why are you talking to me? No, am I the one you're talking to? Can you book one of You should choose your words. 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 Time is not on his side because the throne of Anunibu will not remain vacant for a very long time. If he fails to choose a wife immediately, I am going to intervene. Hey, you don't need to ask me what that means. You will not understand. But when the need arises, all of you will understand it. Hey. I refuse to be intimidated. No, Mama. No. That's not possible. It can never happen. Never. What's the meaning of that, Okukwe? The meaning is that I'm in love with her twin. Yes, Mama, and you know it. We're planning on getting married. Are you for real, Okukwe? Okukwe, do you, do you just get the whole content of what I've just told you? Okay. Obioso is to be crowned the king of this great kingdom. And for that to take place, he needs a wife. Mama, I don't care. I don't care. I mean... It's not even making any sense. I, I don't know him. I've never been with him. I... Knowing him is not a problem. It's not a problem now, Okupe. You will get to know him as the days go by. Mama, you don't get it. I'm in love with Atwini. We love each other. We're planning on getting married soon and you know about it. Obi also should get another young woman from an Enugu or even beyond. Shut up. Shut up your mouth. Stop that foolishness of yours. You belong to another person. You belong to a, 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 a 20. Who is that 20? What do you mean? What am I even talking? Who is going to support you? The tradition of this our great kingdom says that the king has the right to choose anybody he wants to marry. And you can't say no. Who is going to support you? Okupe? Ibukwe? Munye king? Mungoma? You belong to him. Obioso, what kind of food do you eat? And how do you eat it? I'm asking because it seems that whatever you eat is different from what others eat. And perhaps you eat it through your nostrils. You went to her parents' house to tell them what exactly? To tell them exactly what you heard, Onyobuchi. To tell them that I have seen their daughter and I like her. This is unbelievable, Obioso. This is unbelievable. Why would you do that without consulting me? Consult you how? What I don't understand is why you're here shouting, raving and ranting and crying and screaming more than the bereaved. I found a woman that I like. And you made your stance on the matter now. But you are not with me. Understand me. where I'm coming from. That woman belongs to another man. <laughs> is this how you want to start your reign? By taking another man's wife. Just because she appeals to you. Onyebuchi, stop it. 
All right, stop it. You're pushing it. You of all people should know better. You know the pressure being mounted on me by the elders and every other person in this community, my mom inclusive, to find a wife as soon as possible so that I can be crowned king. I understand you're under pressure. You don't understand. But you need a woman. But a woman who is free. Not another man's wife. She is not another man's wife, Ponye Buchi. Stop it. That girl is not another man's wife. Her bride price has not been paid by any man in Anilugu. And that makes her a free woman. I won't sit by and watch you cultivate another man's farm. Mm -mm. Neither would I sit here and watch you castigate me and make me look like the bad guy. I'm not. I'm just a man who's found a woman who he really likes and wants to take her as a wife. Are you my friend at the point like this and support me or are you not going to support me? Even met with him. He only came to make his intention known to my parents. And what was your response? I couldn't have agreed. Ufimi, you are the only one for me. It's you or no other. You and I know that any king or any king to be in our land has the right to name any woman his wife. I know. But that doesn't still change a thing. The said woman becomes his wife only when she agrees. It cannot happen without her consent. Really? You think so? I mean, do you think we have all it takes to Resist the king? Obim, you once told me that you started as a chemist and that you were only administering modern medicine to people. Yes, I told you that. And I'm still administering orthodox medicine in some minor cases. You also said that you met face to face with the goddess of healing and everything changed. Exactly. The goddess exposed me to the other side of medicine. And that is why I can do what modern medicine cannot do. But how does that connect with the issue under discussion? Obin, can't you get the goddess to interfere in this? Listen, Obin. I don't want to be with another person but you. It's not as easy as you think. I don't know what to do. I don't just know what to do. Now what is wrong with Obioza? He left me a very beautiful woman. Charming. Irresistible. And he's running after one that, that belongs to another. What is wrong with him? Tell me. I am still surprised. No, you should not be surprised. Listen to me, Onyebuchi. He is your friend. All you need to do is talk some sense into him. Talk to him. Make him understand that I am the only woman in Anenugu that befits him as wife. Make him understand. Is he blind? Is he blind? Well, I was actually referring to you when I said I'm surprised. Not him. You were referring to me. How do you mean? Miss Oma, you've never liked Obiozo. You suddenly developed this, your love for Obiozo, the moment you heard it. He's named the next king. Doesn't that tell me something about my sister? Something about your sister? How do you mean? What, do you, what is it that is telling you about your sister? That my sister is morally bankrupt. I do not care whatever it is you've allowed to be running through your head. I don't want to be no chacha. What is the meaning of that? Mess what is wrong with someone starting to like somebody you never liked? Tell me what Everything is, is wrong with it. Is wrong. Why? Everything is wrong with it. Everything is wrong with it, Jemesa Oma. All you want is to be the queen of Africa. Really? That's all. Oh, really? This is how you see it. But that's the plain truth. I am disappointed. Highly disappointed that my sister has allowed herself to be on that ignoble list of desperate girls. I'm ashamed of you. 
Ifele me buku age. Obiozom, di mama, my love, my king. Hmm, your wish will always be my command. Uju, it's me. You've not been. Hey, you are too hungry and deeply in love. Of course. Is there any reason why I shouldn't? Eh? Thank you, Ju. Thank you. That's why I like you. And you've always supported me. Eh? Thank What's you. Of course, let's consider. You don't need to ask me to do it. You know what I can do already. I can do anything possible to make the king my in-law, <laughs> my personal in-law. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know. I must say that I am really happy to finally get a chance to to talk with you privately on this matter. I like you. I must tell you that from the moment I laid eyes on you, my mind hasn't rested. Thoughts of you has lingered on. I can't get you out of my head. You're beautiful. You're such a beautiful woman. Quite exceptional and unique too. I just want you, okay? Listen, I know how strange and uncomfortable this can be, but I need you to please feel free with me. Okay, I mean no harm, absolutely no harm. Why are you doing this? Doing what? You can choose another young woman from an Enugu, or even beyond. Why me? Why you? Because you're beautiful and exceptional, that's why. Huh? Well, I belong to another. In fact, we are getting married soon. Very soon. Well, I'm aware of it. Really? Oh, yeah. You're aware of it and you still don't want to be considerate? Because you don't understand that I need you. I have no space in my heart for another woman in this community but you. You're the one that I want, and I'm asking you to give us a chance, for I am going to love you for the rest of my life. If you agree, Okokwe, to be my wife, I will treat you like a queen. A queen that you will eventually become, and you're going to look back years from now and have no regrets. Please give this a chance. Listen, I appreciate all that, honestly. But I'm sorry. It can't work. It can't be possible. Like I said before, I belong to another. Look, okay, the elders of this community are on my neck. The beautiful people, as you know it, in Anenugu, are on my neck. For urgently, I need to sit on that throne. And one thing, just one thing, have delayed this entire process. But then I stand here and I look at you and I can tell that that delay is over. I don't understand. You are going to become my wife. Are you going to force me to become your wife? I'm not forcing you, Okupe. I am guiding your destiny to become the next queen of Anenu. 
I am the next king of this community and by the power vested in me, I declare you my wife to be. You are the one that I have chosen, Okukwe. You will be my wife. And nothing can change it. My might is done. I have declared her my wife. And nothing can change it now. Relax. Uh, very soon, we will all be moving to the palace where you shall enjoy the opulence of that beautiful edifice. As a king's mother. Um, what about the healer? The man of the gods that wanted to marry her before. Mama, you said wanted. That man has been wanting for a very long time. Hey, Mama, when a man is serious about a woman, he should make efforts to marry her immediately. I don't think the young man in question is serious, Mama. Mama. He's been leading her on for a long time. But, uh, Mama, you wanted this. You should be happy for me. Huh? You wanted me to find a woman after my heart, a woman that I would call my wife so that we can follow through with this process. Now I am here, Mama, smile. Oh, yeah, Buchi. Not today. You should be happy. You should be thanking the gods. And here you are mourning as if somebody died. Huh? Is she supposed to be happy? Why not, Nanya? She should be happy. I'm thanking the gods. Other girls are out there killing themselves to have the king marry them. But in our own case, he came by himself asking our daughter to marry him. Eh? She should be happy. Me, I'm happy. It's so sad. How you suddenly careless about a twin? A man that healed your mother of that chronic waist pain that kept her in the hospital for months. Bo! Where is my mother now? Is she not finally dead? She died in natural death as an old woman. Before then, there was nothing like waist pain. Artwin healed it completely. And now you are going to turn your back to that same man just because of royalty. Nani, you are not getting it. Mm. See? I know that uh, Atwin is a good man. Mm. And I know that the gods are going to help Atwin get a special woman that he will marry. But for this, our daughter here, she belongs to the king. Ugoma, the mother of the queen. He didn't even allow me to say anything. He just used his power as the coming king to declare me his wife. I'm so confused. <clears throat> I know how you feel, but at the same time, we must obey tradition. The coming king has chosen you, and there is nothing we can do about it. Mm -hmm. huh? I believe with time, you will get to love him. Bam. Please, try as much as you can to start getting used to it. Ooh. Oh, be going busy now. A business. You will love him. Oh. Aqua Vito. Your Majesty. Adama, how are you? I'm good, Your Majesty. And how are you? I'm very well. Hope you slept well. Yes, I did. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Fantastic. Your Majesty. Yes. I I saw you in my dream. You saw me in your dream? Yes, Your Majesty. Really? What was it about? In the dream you proposed to me. <laughs> Say that again? I propose to you. Yes, Your Majesty. Quite interesting. <laughs> it is. <laughs> mm. 
You know, I was actually on my way to see the elders before you walked in. So maybe we do this some other time. Huh? Okay. Can we live together? Sure, you can come with me if you want. Believe me, Obi. It's not my fault. I am left with no option. But you are happy, aren't you? Obi, I'm not happy. I mean, how could I be happy knowing that I'm about becoming a wife to a man I'm yet to know? I'm equally in pain. This is too much for me. <laughs> okay. Okay, stop crying. Stop crying, my love. I believe you. And also, I understand. It's not your fault. All this wouldn't have happened if I had paid your bright price all this while. Just like you said, we can't disobey tradition. In as much as I am dying slowly. <laughs> Obi, my love for you will never die. I will love you as long as I live. My elder. <laughs> If anyone will go down, so I'm not here. Oh, yes, oh no, we are. This is good, finally. Oh, yes, oh no, we are finally about to have a king. <laughs> My heart is filled with joy and happiness. I can't wait to see the day you will finally sit on that. <laughs> Thank you very much, my elders. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Thank you. I see the event at all. If we for an attack, you are on here. We are yet to know who this beautiful maiden is. Yeah. Uh, her name is Okukwe. Okukwe, the daughter of Zayobi. What? Okay, okay. What? 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 You know? <laughs> did I hear you right? Yes, you did. Impossible. That's impossible. You just want to say, impossible. what is it? What is it? But no, does it mean you're not aware? Aware of what? The man he just mentioned is the one that is scheduled to be married to at the The one the girls have been using to administer healing to our people. She is the one. It's your point of sign. But they are not yet married. And you know what the tradition is. But no, why are you the one saying this? I don't understand. Because of so of all the maidens we have, all the beautiful women we have in this kingdom, you didn't see any to make your wife be the one that is said to be married to a man of our land? Ichi, but... with all due respect, Ichi, you're beginning to push me to the wall. Is that what you think? That, that I, I am pushing you to the wall? What have I done to you, Ichi? What did I ever do to you? But tell me. The elders are here. Let them hear. What have I ever done to you? Hey, that's a question. You know, is it possible for us to continue this meeting without him? Oh, it's your question. I don't it's see it's anything it's wrong with his choice. It is impossible. And by the way, he is the reason for this meeting. Yes, yes. That's the essence of sitting here. Hmm. Chege, my friend. Yes? You need to see the excitement on his look when I told him about the train. He held me close and said, I can't just wait for this dream to come true. <laughs> really? Yes. Am I not lucky I'm blessed? <clears throat> Which one is home again? Don't tell me you've joined Chizo Basley. Uh uh. Why would you think like that? I don't know eh? for you. Uh, see, the truth is that I'm I'm so confused. Eh? Chizoba would say Obiozo is interested in her. And here you are saying the same thing. Now tell me, what do I believe? Biko, Biko, don't, don't mind that fool. Why would the also want to settle for her? She's mm. short. She's unintelligent. Now tell me, yeah. if Obioso settles for her, won't you be among those that will vote him out for making a wrong choice? 
Oh, Asa! Yeah, we go. <laughs> I missed you. Uh -uh. Adoma, where are you going? If I let her go, please, I don't want to share the same air with her. Listen, you both have finally become enemies, and I don't like it. Eh? You should be telling her that, though. She is miles behind me in class measurements, and I wouldn't want to be insulted with possible comparison. Class go. It's, yes, of course. It's okay, I know. Eh? My friend, how are you? You look good. Calm down, my friend. This is not the end of the road. No, you don't understand. You don't understand. I do. There's nothing you can do about it. Same as Okokwe. My friend, just try and let go. Move on. With time, the wound will surely heal. Why would you just choose to marry the one I love? Why? He did so because of the power he has as the next king. To me, that is a power misuse. Cruzal abuse of power. But the gods are watching. Keep the gods out of this. Come on, my friend. Be a man. What you be will definitely be. Naji, our Aninubu is a land of beautiful women. In fact, there is no family you will enter today that you will not see more than one or hundred beautiful women. So why must Obiozo focus on that one that I've decided to make mine? Why? Friend, you decided to marry Okukwe since last year. And to the best of my knowledge, you have all the finances to execute that objective. What are you possibly insinuating? I don't want to upset my friend by telling him he should have married that babe since last year. By now, she would have been a mother or expecting a child. But you decided to delay because of reasons best known to you. Now she's off your grip and you have to live with it. You have to settle for another in time. There's a lot of choices for you. Done with combing your hair. Yes, I'm not. And what business of yours is this? It is my hair. So, whatever time I decide to spend on my hair, it is my business and mine alone. When will you learn to talk like a woman? Eh? Oye, Buchi, not today. Please do not disturb me. I am not in that mood, though. Biko. Sorry. Hey. Is the food ready? Hey. But you just asked me if I, I wasn't done with my hair. I said yes. I'm not done with my hair. Or I'm now a witch that will do two things at the same time. Make my hair and still make food. What is it? Listen, Oyebuchi. I asked you to talk to Obiozo. But what did you do instead? You referred to me as morally bankrupt. And a desperate woman. Tell me. Which reasonable brother will see something that will benefit his sister and let it slip off her fingers? Okay, you want to continue referring to Obiozo as your majesty, your highness. If you refer to him as an in-law, will you die? Will you die? I am asking you. Oh yeah, Buchi, will you die? Something that can make you sit in the corridor of power. No! You want to come back home every day and see oh, uh, uh, Mesoma at home. Mesoma, have you not cooked the food? Mesoma, have you not washed the dishes? Mesoma! You, <laughs> you will starve to death. You know you have not told me the exact thing you saw in her. I don't know how to explain it, Mom, but look, how I feel about Okukwe is just... You know, Inexplicable. Uh, she's just unique. My kind of woman. 
Relax, Mom. Very soon you get to spend time with her in the palace. And you'll see what I have seen. What about her to Amy? Not a problem, Mom. I have told you countless times he is not a problem. I don't know why I'm feeling somehow about this whole thing. Really, you have nothing to worry about, Mom. Stop feeling somehow about it and be happy. Uh, by the way, Mama, do you know that Ichi Okwana Sanya was quite irritated the moment I mentioned Okukwe to the others today as my choice for a wife? You should know Ichi Okwana Sanya by now. He's a troublemaker. <laughs> but I think I can, I can actually guess the reason he did that today. What's his reason? The girl you declared to marry yes. belongs to someone else. Mama, I'll need to cut some rest. I'm tired. It's been a long day. We'll talk later. Uh -huh. There must be something about her that he is not willing to say. What could that be? I crown you the Lord of an enemy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>